It may get a 20% discount on food, a pay for by the government. Ah, is this the same department that you want to be issuing the government issue girlfriends, or is that a whole separate building? Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash just nightmare things, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more content like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, make some wholesome friends and uh, to have some great discussions and you know all that jazz if you have not already subscribed to the channel also and turn on the notifications okie dokie let's get into this man needs to eat more to survive as 2500 calories are recommended rather than the 2000 for women in this interest of equality i believe it is only right for the government to cover this extra cost for meals that's an extra cost and struggle in life simply due to one's ass and I believe that is an affront to equality. I just think of the young males growing up having to pay on the average 25% more to survive. Completely unfair. To the women out there, especially those who are struggling financially when you are buying your groceries and looking for the cheapest brand and sales to get by. Imagine you get to the till and are charged 20-25% extra simply due to a characteristic you were born with. This is the harsh reality many men effectively go through every day of their life. Okay, two things, genius. First off, you dumb. Secondly, I'm fairly certain you're getting equality's definition mixed up with equity. Oh, looks at my feet shyly. And then to you, you're pretty smart for a girl. You know that, right? Bless you. Um, I'm pretty sure other girls are smart. Eyes <laughs> widen in a bit of surprise. Thanks to myself. Oh, no. Oh, no, she didn't like that. Well, it's just biology that men are smarter. We have higher IQs on average. Like, mine is 150. 59. Anyways, oh, let's move on. Smiles cheerfully. I'm going to block you now. Oh, looks in shock. Why? I thought you were nice, but you're actually a birch. I guess all women are the same now. A size. And this alley blocks you before you can block me. Hey, if y'all guys think it's torture listening to this, think of it my perspective. This is this ain't even the fun kind of torture. That robot isn't literally more attractive than any woman I've ever met or seen in my life. Why did you have to remind me? That is a nostalgia trip to see my life as a teenage robot. By the way, this is not what the phrase get in the robot was intended for, you dunce. It would make it even worse if there was a little ZTV logo in the bottom right. Guys, I effed up. I was this close to having a tomboy brown GF, and she just effing shut me down. Why, is it because she found out you had a 4chan account? I have a crush on tomboy brown co-worker. Reminds me of the cartoon character Cora, pet related. A spunky attitude, very aggressive, but playful if you try to mess with her, always smiles. Very hyper. We get along great. She's cool as heck, and her really in the boyish stuff like skateboarding still wears converse ffs but she says it's for lifting after where hey screw you converses are nice hiking exploring spooky houses as a gush darn samurai sword in her car because she's scared of walking home alone punches my arm i make some joking threats she always gets up to my face and smiles and tells me go ahead and drop me if you're so strong i bet you can't can't. Friends tell me, dude, she wants, can't F this up. Man up, despite being a kissless virgin asperg, and ask her out, I had to do it. You're really cool, man, but sorry, I don't feel that way about you. I hope we can still be friends. I reply, no thanks, I don't want to be friends. I would just be lying that I didn't have feelings for you while we messed around at work, so let's cut contact. 
Later in the day, my co-workers tell me that she wasn't as uppity as always. The next couple of days, I see her trying to jog around with me like always. I just sort of do a half a butt smile and walk away, uh, just leaving her doing some silly which looks out of place to others. Comes up to me during lunch. Hey, Anon, uh, mind if I sit here? I bought you that favorite hamburger from that store we buy burgers from, it's your favorite. I tell her, no thanks, my lunch is over anyways, lying, so I get up and walk away. She's sitting there with her head down, holding the hamburger for a while. A girl coker asks me, why is she so sad? Apparently, she got up when I left and then went to our office. When she got out, she looked like she was crying. Yeah, how much did I have? things up. If you thought you were dapper as last time, you have not seen dapper yet. Hey, can somebody call Doug Dimidome and ask him to come pick up his crusty sock loving son? Please understand that I was merely offering a response that seemed to be in kind with the comments by the poster. I do have a request. Is it possible you might persuade the powers that be to develop some sort of breakdown of which sites encourage a playful response and which do not. I understand that your form, your perspective of following your particular rules should not be difficult, but from my perspective I routinely receive a jumbled up bunch of images from different groups that if we are being fair, everyone scrolls through quick. My transgression was not out of malice or disrespect, our meant to offend, it was as if I I was given a jumbled up bunch of X-rated images seeking comments, and then this voluptuous woman, not that different in character, but a rate R instead of X, gets mixed in and my glee to give a response. I responded with a bit of wordplay based upon the poster's original statements. I understand that the well-being of the ladies who post on your page must come first and I actually don't mind being banned. I am just disappointed, really, and I really am deeply sorry that I might have offended anyone. Is there some way I can ban your page from my feed? Because otherwise, this could easily occur again, and clearly none of us want that. I try to always be positive and supportive in my responses. I'm sorry I misinterpreted interpreted the post as innuendo intended to elicit such a response, but it is my fault and I am deeply sorry. Oh cool, congrats on trying to justify your context of asking people on Reddit for their location. That's totally not absolutely creepy. Magic is a heavy strategic game. It requires a resilient mind and deep strategic thinking which can put a lot of pressure in a woman's mind. If you want some of their games, you can notice how stressful and depressing it can be for women to deal with these kinds of things solely by themselves. It is in their best interest to include men. Therefore, men exclusion here has nothing to do with having fun between women and more to do with either resentment and a F men mentality or just a lack of responsibility. Not to say that it's because of creeps, it's simply not sure. Uh, considering that creeps can do very little to you through the internet, and if they post off brand or something, you can always ban those. Those like this are the reason that my locals is a frickin' sausage fest. The reason male comic book fans work themselves into a frenzy to rage over fake geek girls is because they think they can't get a girlfriend because of their love for comic books, aka nerdiness. If they accept that geek girls genuinely love comic books, then they are left with the cold harsh reality that it's not 
not their nerdiness that makes them unattractive to women, but the fact that they are misogynistic, condescending D-bags who need to be avoided at all costs. Yeah, no, it's not the fact that you like Superman is that they didn't want to talk to you. It's because you haven't showered since the Great War of 1862, and you think that saying nice milkers is a fair compliment. And really, the whole thing about saying fake geek girls, oh boy, a person decides to wear glasses and you automatically think they're a nerd, oh yeah, and then you also have the lovely gatekeeping crowd that ask you to name the episode title of episodes of One Piece 300 through 800. Because apparently in their eyes, if you can't do that, then you're apparently not a real fan. Why do females get uncomfortable when you look at them whenever they wear provocative clothing? So I was waiting in line, right? And this girl has an obviously fat booty, and she's wearing really tight pants, and yeah, I'm gonna look, but she looked so uncomfortable when I'm standing behind her. It literally doesn't make any sense. If you don't want people to look at you, why would you even wear that? I took a good five second look. I even counted it in my head, but I'm very polite, so I didn't stare. Oh, but for example, if I was wearing yoga pants and people were staring at my chicken, I wouldn't say that is the people's fault. It is my fault. So I just don't wear yoga pants. Yes, yeah, totally the reason. It is simple logic. Okay, look, you're gonna get a little bit of schooling in booty in a second. This was unexpected in the video, but here we go. And the same thing could be applied to busty women and the long john silver dude who wears the gray sweatpants. There's no off switch for that kind of stuff. Like, you cannot just turn off booty like it's a game console. You can't just decide, oh, I don't want to have a big butt today. It don't work like that. Hollywood is going out of their way to make characters less sexy is just s shaming. Most recently with Netflix trying to make Faye Valentine not sexy for the live action Cowboy Bebop, a Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey, making Peggy Carter a Basically, a barrel just a band in What If? It's a pretty pathetic. They are just telling pretty women that they can't amount to S outside of the male gaze. I don't understand why Hollywood has such a hard time writing badasses that just happen to be women, not badasses because they are women. Ah, uh, yes, because in two out of three of those, God forbid, they want a super suit to actually function like a super suit and not just be the badass display case that you're used to seeing in your launch code videos. And for the Faye Valentine, uh, yeah, god forbid adaptations are not absolutely like the original source material. Like seriously, imagine being the actor and then the director tells you, hey, don't forget to tuck the clothes under your boobs. Like, do you not realize how stupid that sounds? Looking like you are a fit is more difficult for men. Imagine being a really skinny guy who has never been to the gym, and you would not be considered conventionally a attractive by society, as you wouldn't be big and muscular enough. And now imagine being a really skinny girl who has never been to the gym. You would now be considered conventionally attractive by society for the sole reason that you have maintained your weight. I understand that if this sub's draconian moderator somehow let me post this, it will be fairly controversial. I don't care, because what I'm saying is Drew, regardless of what anyone wants to admit, I go to the gym all the time, and I notice this BS way too much. Guys are always hitting on women who would look like complete losers if they were men. But whenever some scrawny guy walks in, people just look at him like he's a dork, and then I realize that everyone would be flirting with him if he were a girl, and had the same physique. I'm tired of the double standard. Isn't this supposed to be the age of gender equality? Anybody that thinks it's a good idea to go into a gym for the purpose of picking up people that you got, don't, don't go to the gym. People are not there to focus on you. Doesn't matter who you are, guy, girl, doesn't matter. It's weird when you do that. Like, I could just be in the middle of this set, and it was even weird a couple of years back. Somebody asked me about the Mustang I was driving. I had a little bit of discussion, but like, after that, I was thinking, that was weird. 
weird. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.